Okay, it's Friday at around 11.40 and I decided I will vlog my weekend because it's a combination of me with my baby, my toddler, and free time without my baby. It's a combo weekend. Yes, I am co-parenting in case you missed that memo at some point. Right now, I just finished some work. I have to go to the library to return some children's books or get new children's books. And I'm also going to go through the cookbook section at the library because I'm gonna start doing videos on my channel of doing recipes from celebrity cookbooks. And I'm hoping I can find some like retro celebrity cookbooks because I think that would be funny. No one is ever at the library. When I went to get the kids books, there was two families in the children's section. I'm just going to the one in my little city, but yeah, anyway, big fan of the library. <laughs> I got this new rotating tripod from TikTok. I think it moves too much though. I don't know. I got it so when I do my live streams, she just goes eh, eh. Nobody at the library. Okay, now we'll go look some look up some cookbooks. I got some kids' books. It's so quiet in here. There's not that many celeb cookbooks. There's Gwyneth, Drew, and this one's funny. Miranda Lambert. I found this one. Okay, I decided to come to Shake Shack to try the vegan option. So there's like a vegan chocolate custard by this company called Notco. And there's a veggie burger that you have to like modify a bunch, but it's like a house-made patty and obviously the fries. So I'm gonna taste it all, but I'm gonna do a review like on Instagram. So I'm not gonna do it here, but you'll have to go to Instagram and watch. Okay, that was not a very good meal. And you could tell just by looking at it. There were some positives, but overall, I wish I didn't eat it, if I'm being honest. Now I'm going to Trader Joe's. Also, tell me why I'm at Trader Joe's every day. <laughs> I don't know. I had to come to another store because they don't have dill at Trader Joe's. It was the only herb they didn't have. So I had to get stuff because I'm making crab cakes tomorrow for a potluck I'm going to at Farmer Nick's house. So I had to get celery, veganese, dill is why I had to go to the other store. I'm obsessed with these rice crackers from Trader Joe's just all of a sudden. Okay, this thing's crazy. Got some wine. There's a list online of vegan traders, Trader Joe's wines. That's for the potluck. Had to get more artichokes for the crab cakes. Had to get tortillas for a test for something. Got this cheese because it's on sale and I'm gonna need it in future for something. And shallots. I'm so tired. It's that terrible food I eat. I literally need to take a nap. I feel like I'm gonna die. I think I'll drink some water. Okay. I'm very thirsty. And I'm like dizzy. I thought I needed to eat. Then I ate, I'm dizzy anyways. I'm gonna take a nap, seriously. I haven't gone for a nap. I've been on social media, but I did edit and post my Shake Shack review. So it's up and I just need a quick nap. So I just gotta turn off the phone. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna try to do that now. I'm gonna go get the boo-boo. I'm sure you're thinking to yourself, she's gonna regret taking that nap, sort of. You know when you wake up and you're like, delirious? <laughs> That's how I feel. Um. I was just on TikTok and someone said, oh, my favorite autistic creator. And I'm like, is that an insult or they think I'm autistic? There's a lot of, um, I mean, I don't think I'm autistic, but there's a lot of, on TikTok, on social media, all of a sudden lots of people saying that as an adult, they've realized they're autistic and have ADHD. So that's the only thing I can like draw a conclusion to is that everyone is like self-diagnosing their autism or something. I definitely don't have ADHD, like that's for sure. Cause almost everyone I know has it and I don't have it, but I don't know what would constitute me having autism. Although people have commented on like my facial expressions when I eat and maybe that's what is making people think that. Is that something anyone has ever noticed? I don't know. I mean, I'm not gonna go down some hole. Wouldn't I know if I had autism? Wouldn't I have like a learning disability or something? I don't know. I'm genuinely curious what that comment is. is. So I guess we'll see if anyone replies. Okay, well, <laughs> gonna go get the little boo-boo. You got your car? See car. Oh, oh, another car. We found that on the street the other day. It's your favorite prize toy, this blue car. 
You got so oh. many toys. Oh. Oh, you like that one too? Oh. Oh, wheel. You like wheels. Look, the little baby in the truck. Mommy got all these new books at the library. I picked them because I thought they would be good for reading. What's that? Uh. What does it do? Uh. What does the cat do? Mom. Yeah, meow. Meow, yes. All right, we're doing the cream cheese, eating cream cheese with rice crackers. Very white and boring. You lost your ball. You rolled it under the couch. You want some? Yeah, you want your rice cracker? Yum, yum. Bite it, boo-boo. I have other cheeses, too. This one is a nuts for cheese, cashew cheese. You want to try a different one? Mmm. You say rice cake? Cream cheese face. Cutest toes. Mmm, mm, that good? You want to say nectarine? You want some oranges? You don't seem to like nectarine every time I give it to you. You want those? Mmm. You gonna eat that? Orange. It's good. Mmm, orange. Oh, now you, now you eat the apple. Mmm. You have the sticky floor. Apple. Yeah, it's apple. You want more orange? More. More. throwing it on the ground. Don't throw it on the ground. Put it in your mouth. See? All right. That's just a little piece of tofu. This is what you wanted. No. What does that mean? Okay, well, this is a guessing game of what you want. A little bit of this left. You want this? Elmo. Elmo. This is not Elmo. Okay, look. Look, it's coming out the top. You're going to put that in your mouth? This drives me crazy. Mmm, mashed potatoes. No. All done? <laughs> Are you sure you're all done? No. We've been doing this thing for the last few days where he goes, he looks at me and he goes, and then I have to do it back and he laughs. Oh! <laughs> I don't know where he got this from. Maybe his dad. Oh! <laughs> hey, turn. Okay, go this way. Where are we? Where are you? You're outside, right? Stay outside. Okay. Outside lasts for like 15 yeah. minutes and then it turns into a meltdown because he wants to play on the sidewalk in the middle, far away from the house. And I don't want to stand there. <laughs> I have to carry him all the way back. Somebody's a whiny boo after the bath. Here, here's all your books. It's good because it gets darker earlier now. So he usually goes to bed a little bit earlier. So it begins. When you read the books, what's that do? Piggy. Okay, ready? With a ba and a moo and a cock a doodle doo. Everybody promenade two by two. Early the next morning. I just don't no, I just got it out from under the couch. Better go get that. All right, we're back to 6:30 a.m. Saturday. Oh god, I look like a bag of poo. Gotta be on, gotta be ready for anything. You're chasing balls, you're getting cars out from under the couch. Yeah. Reading books. Elmo. You want Elmo? Hmm? Are you just saying that? Wee? Wee? It's your camera. Yes, I'm making a toast for you. This is mommy's coffee. You gonna drink your milk? Drink your bubba? Oh. oh. Can you say cat? Yeah. Can you say car? Yeah. I think C is hard. Can you say mama? Mama. Yeah, I am mama. Can you say apple? Apple. <laughs> Can you say Matilda? Yeah. <laughs> Close. Yeah. Here's your toast. Mmm, toast. A little longer than a few minutes later. It's a butterfly. A butterfly. See the butterfly? You do it. Uh -huh. Okay. Where do you want to go? Looks like you got red hair. Hey, you like these things. Yes, we always play with these. We stopped to get a bagel and vegan cream cheese and an iced latte. 
Bubba's eating some bagel. It's like 9.30. What are we doing now? We had a snack. We had a little snack. We had a little cry. Someone needs a nap. He's going to his papa's house, so we'll wait till he goes there for napping. Oh, look who it is! It's Stevie! We swapped one boo-boo for the other boo-boo. All right, it's just after 12. Dropped the boo-boo off with his pops. Now I'll tidy up, and I gotta start making some crab cakes for the potluck. I can't believe I just taste tested one of my crab cakes that I made into a mini version for this potluck and didn't do it on camera. Anyway, I made the horseradish dill aioli. This recipe is actually on my blog, but it's also in Vegan Comfort Classics uh, Perfected if you wanna do that. And yeah, because I made that recipe so long ago, I always add like way more horseradish into the aioli than it calls for. I also did gluten-free crab cakes. So these are gluten-free panko, so it worked really good. They're super crispy. And like, if you just put them out the way I did on a rack, they won't get soggy and I'm just gonna leave them out until I go, which is in a couple hours. And then they should stay fairly crispy. They just won't be like warm. When I get there, but they're really good. Damn, I wish I could eat more, but I want to leave enough for the people. Also, I don't know if when you're watching this, this will be out yet, but I made these amazing flautas, which is gonna be a collaboration or is a collaboration with another creator and uh, sauced up foods. So look out for that if it's not up already. I don't know the timing of all this posting. Okay, so, oh God, I have oil all over my shirt. I'm just gonna run to the Dollarama because I don't have a container to put this aioli in and I don't want to like leave one of my nice jars at the potluck house. A friendly reminder, get this cookbook if you haven't already it's sold lots of copies like many 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 thousands of copies it was a hit unexpectedly and i love y'all for purchasing it and gifting it and all that kind of stuff so i still benefit from the sales of this book not the second book this book just saying <laughs> You can even get it as a Kindle ebook version too on Amazon. Okay, well, I'm gonna go to the dollar store and uh, hopefully I don't buy any other crap that I don't need. I don't think I will, but the Dollar King over across from my house is pretty good. I actually found something. I can put my aioli in here because I used all my vegan mayonnaise. Might be a little hard to get it out of here, but okay, there's like a long spoon or people could just go like that. I don't have anything else unless I use one of those baby bottles. Damn, it's too big. It's, I feel like it's too Well, maybe they'll have a bowl when I get there. I also added way more dill, and I doubled the recipe, because I didn't want to run out of sauce. There. So now, whatever. People can figure it out. All right, well, I'm eating one of these flautas. I'm not going to see what's in them, because you can just get the recipe once it's posted. Mmm. A little avocado sauce action, too. That's the sauce. It's thick. I need to drink water. All right, well then we'll chill and get ready for the potluck. I'm going with my friend, Andra. Where's Stevie? I'll be hiding. Okay, I'm just wearing some black leggings. This shirt that I'll probably sweat to death in. I have no clue if it's gonna get cool tonight or not. Hmm, do I like this outfit? Should I wear a tank top so I can wear it open? I don't know how to do it, or should I just wear that? No, I'm still wearing my maternity leggings because they're comfortable. <laughs> okay, gotta figure this out though. You know what always happens is, I am excited to go out, then I get dressed and get ready, and then I'm like, what am I doing? So that's the stage I'm in now. Uh, my friend is gonna be here in 20 minutes, but I have this little thing of tequila that I got sent in the mail with this like PR package that I never drank. So I might just make a quick little drink while I wait for her and pack up my food. Is that one shot? Lemon, lime, maple, eee, just a titch. Oh, too much. 
soda. A chopstick. Mm. It's quite delicious. Ugh, well, they're so crispy. Crispy enough. Let's have a bite of this. There they are. Later that same evening. Oh my God, it's 11.25. It was lights out and I was like trying to go to sleep and I just realized I didn't vlog any of the potluck. <laughs> I was so present. It literally didn't even cross my mind to shoot anything. It's not like I thought it and I, no, it didn't even enter my mind. Isn't that incredible? That's never happened. So I must have been having a good time. I did have a good time and meant to show you the food and my friends and Nick and the house and just completely didn't remember to do it. So I guess whatever that happened, I had to go to bed now. Okay, good talk. <laughs> Tomorrow for sure. It is almost 10. I just got up about 20 minutes ago, waiting for the boo-boo to get dropped off. I thought it was coming later, but I guess I was wrong. Um, just drinking some coffee, ruminating about last night and I don't know, thought maybe I would chat about it here. So I went to the potluck, forgot to shoot the footage like I told you. And it was great, I had so much fun. Obviously I had so much fun if I wasn't even thinking about taking a video clip. All right, well, now all the action is happening. Hopefully he can stay quiet for a minute. So last night I was, someone said to me, oh, are you expecting? As I'm holding a half drinking bottle of wine. <laughs> And I went, this is where we at. They go, oh, are you expecting? I was like, they like gestured to my stomach and I go, no. <laughs> and then kind of laughed then walked away. And the person was clearly obviously embarrassed and basically didn't say anything and walked away. And it was a gay man of all people, which brings me to my latest revelation that gay men, y'all are still men. <laughs> and men, oh no, don't touch that. Oh, yeah, so anyways, gay men are still men. This is my new revelation. So just like that hierarchy is still there of like how women are perceived by men. I felt like last night I was like, couldn't fall asleep. I had it articulated very well in my head and now I don't know what my thoughts, I don't know how to put my thoughts into words. But like, it's 2023, don't we know you don't comment that to anyone? Even if they look nine months pregnant, you don't say, oh, you just don't say anything because you don't know. You just leave it alone. Let it be brought up by someone else. Now I had met this person before and he had context for the fact that I do have a child because I think he remembered seeing my other child at the potluck last time. So then on top of that, there's this other like expectation or whatever that I would be having another kid so soon because that's like a social norm or a thing people do or a thing people expect women will do. And the amount of people, including last night, who said, are you gonna have another child? Like, why am I asked that all the time? First of all, it's nobody's business. And no, I'm not. I always say, no, I'm not. But also it's not, it, why is that a question? Do people just not know what to say? Any, it, like, is this why people say dumb things because they don't have anything to say or they don't know what to say and they're all socially awkward like me? I don't understand. Chime in with your thoughts. I had more profound things to add about how we're socialized and men and women and all that stuff. But now I can't think straight, so. But I'll say I'm not happy about being asked if I was expecting. Because look, even if it looks like I'm expecting, and that means you're judging my body. So first of all, you're going, oh, she looks fat. So I'm gonna ask a question about why she looks fat, or you've already looked me up and down and decided in your head, like, again, these are split second decisions, but you've made some perception of me. You've been looking at me for my body. Even a gay man, especially gay men, actually, they're almost worse because they're so judgy and like have a certain expectation for women. And again, think they can comment things to women because they think they're a woman. Well, you're not, you're a man. Okay, gotta go. <laughs> this one won't leave me alone. Okay, come here, come on. He's walking all over the house. Unsupervised. This one's all over me, licking my mouth. What are you doing? He's coming. He's walking around. We didn't see the toes. Can we see your toes, smoothie mouth? He's got a smoothie mouth. Somehow I got ready, because I have to come camera ready. You got your little outfit on. We're gonna match with our blue jeans. Yes, I'm wearing this outfit you've already seen, which I think will be good for the photos. And Stevie gets to be in the photo shoot. Now you're gonna be behaved. You have to behave. 
and be a good girl. You ready, Bubba? Are you ready? Are you ready for the photo shoot? Ooh. I want you to have your toes in the photo. Shoes, yeah, we'll put them on later. I want him to nap in the car, so I'm gonna leave a bit early and just drive the long way or drive around because he needs to sleep. And then hopefully we'll be good, okay. Let's try and do this. Did I explain what this is? This is a photo shoot with this photographer that was like looking for families to do portraits for their like portfolio and I applied and it's a free shoot, which normally is like $600, $600. So I was like, sure. So now I get a free photo shoot and then I have to like buy like products after which they give you a discount on, but I figure like, I don't know, seemed like a pretty decent deal. I guess I could have found someone I know to do photos for free because I know a couple photographers, but these are like, they're not Sears portraits, but they're like, I don't know, they're like black and white family portraits. I think they'll be nice. <gasps> okay, ready to go? All right, it's 1.42. We're just gonna go to the drive through to get coffee because uh, I was falling asleep driving. But Bobo is sleeping, which is good. Probably needs to sleep longer, but hopefully, be okay and we're in santa clarita i missed that show santa clarita diet this was a bad idea it's taking too long i'm supposed to be there at two and it said don't come early because they back to back book the photo shoots and now i'm gonna be late i hate being late i was excited about the drive through and then once you're in you're trapped there's no escape route they really should make an escape route so i have to see this through <laughs> Can I get a regular oat milk iced latte? All right. Iced. Uh, no, just with oat milk, right? Yeah. Okay, thanks. That's it. This shit stresses me out. I hate being late. <laughs> Whatever. It'll all work out. The other family's taking a long time. You know why this is whack? It's because I came to the coffee bean. This place sucks. <laughs> oh, there's a vegan banana walnut loaf. I didn't see that. I think she'll let me add it. Hello? Can I add something to that oat milk latte? Yeah, what would you like? The um, vegan banana walnut loaf. Anything else? That's it. They're always listening. Maybe she, well, I had the window closed, so she didn't hear me say that it sucks here. <laughs> All right, see you at the photo shoot. Well, that was a production, wasn't it? By the way, it's 105 degrees Fahrenheit outside where we were and I'm dying. Then it's like 101 here where I live. That banana bread was not good. Very gummy, if you were wondering. I've got a little piece of it left. I was eating it in the car. It's gummy and like bad texture. The coffee was good. Good job on the coffee. <sighs> you okay, boo boo? You sleeping in the car? You your little toes? We're gonna have good photos of us. And you too, Stevie, you were a very good girl. Okay, well, I just found out the scam of this photo shoot. Mama got scammed. So they offer basically like a free photo shoot, which they say is like $600. But then in order to actually ever get any copies of these photos, you have to order their products. And their products are like $2,000. And I get a $250 credit. So I have to basically spend a month's worth of rent on getting these photos now. And I have to, because now I want the fucking photos. So that was a scam and they lied on the initial call about how much the products cost because they're literally like triple what they said on the phone. So now just add this to the list of things I'm annoyed about from this entire weekend. <laughs> or do I just forget about it and I just wasted my time and just get rid of the photos entirely. And that's a lie. Oh, we need them for our, our portfolio in our studio. It's like I went in there and the walls are covered in photos. They don't need any more. It's a scam. So if you ever see this, oh, you want a free family photo shoot, blah, blah, blah. There you go. Okay, well, anyways, I don't know what he wants. He just keeps whining. So let's just ignore him. This character is known as Mr. Noodle on Elmo's World. And you can't quite see this, but He's a creepy old man and he's always sweaty. And this is a child's show and it just freaks me out like it's a pedophile. And there's two of these Mr. Noodles and they're both creepy. But on the new versions, 
there's a young guy and he's not creepy and there's Ilana Glazer, is that her name? From Broad City as Mr. Noodle's sister, Miss Noodle. So those are appropriate, but these old Sesame Street episodes have some pretty weird shit in them. And I like all the puppet stuff, but I hate all the human stuff. I don't understand why there's humans on this show. The humans are all weird, except when they have the celebrities on. I think those are fun. So really, The Muppet Show would be a better show to watch because it's all puppets, Muppets, and celebrities. So maybe we should switch to The Muppet Show. But now he's obsessed with Elmo. Literally, he's outside walking going, Elmo, Elmo. It's like his safe word. <laughs> Do you want some pasta? Yeah. No, he always says no. Everything. Look at how gourmet this is. No. That's what I'm actually gonna eat is this salad. Okay. We'll see if I can eat it in peace or not. I'm guessing not. Okay, 8.15, boo-boo asleep, face washed. That was my weekend. I don't even know what the hell happened. So thanks for watching and Hopefully the vibe of that wasn't too negative because there was a lot of annoying things that happened, I guess. And, oh, you know what? While we're here, because I think I mentioned that thing about the girl saying she thought I was autistic. You're British. So I said, oh, tell me what it is. And then she said she would rather DM me. So I said, go ahead. And she has not answered or DM'd me. So I was hoping that was, we would be able to discuss that at the end of this vlog. So I guess I'll Google adult female autism and see. <laughs> I knew it. I don't know what that person's talking about. Okay. Thanks for watching if you made it this far. See you later. Bye.